Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel! So we are continuing the birthday series that I uh, have started. If you haven't seen the first one, I will link that down below. Um, but basically, uh, I was spoiled rotten this birthday. It was a pretty big birthday and so I was completely spoiled, especially by my husband and my sister. Like, wow. Um, so, uh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I have to wear my birthday tiara. Oh my okay, God. I'm ready now. Anyways, this is going to be a little series because uh, I got so much for my birthday. It, it's crazy. It's a little insane. And I will go completely insane trying to edit a like five hour video. So uh, I decided to just break it up into little like bite sized pieces so that it's a little bit easier on me. Um, so yes, anyways. This is the Disney trip. My One of my gifts from my husband was a trip to Disney World to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Um, and yeah, so my husband got me tickets to Disney World and uh, I got some goodies from there, of course. And so yeah, I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I did get some stuff for the trip as well, so I don't I don't know if I should just start there. Um, some of these items may be a little random, but anyways, the trip was amazing. Um, we went to Disney World for one day and then we went to Disney Springs the next day, um, which I never knew about Disney Springs. If you like shopping, you know, it's, it's a great place to just walk around and everything. The, the um, parking and everything is free. So if you just want to spend like a little Disney themed day, um, you can always go to Disney Springs and um, the main reason why I wanted to go to Disney Springs is because of one particular bakery. If you are a Disney fan you probably know what I'm talking about but I will show you guys that in a little bit. But anyways, um, after the Disney Springs day, the next day we went to Universal Islands of Adventure. Um, I had never been there. My husband had never been there either. He's been to Universal but he's never been to that one. So much fun. We went on every single ride. I mean, it was great. So, um, yes. Anyways, highly, highly recommend, uh, especially if you like roller coasters. I don't even like roller coasters. Like, I don't like the big ones that you go like all the way like down. That that I hate. But the speed of roller coasters, I love. So, if you're like me, you will definitely enjoy those. The best ride for sure was the Veloc Veloc Velocicoaster. I think is what it's called. So amazing! I loved it. Um, the um, Hagrid's ride, or, uh, I don't know, one of the major rides in the Hogwarts castle, there was literally a three hour long wait for that ride, which was crazy. Um, and in, I don't know if it's just for the Islands of, of Adventure theme park, you do have to um, get lockers because for a lot of the rides, like the first ride we went on was the Hulk, which was also very fun by the way, but you have to get lockers because you literally cannot have anything on your person, not even your phone, nothing. So um, just a heads up, um, the smaller lockers, like if you don't have much stuff, those are free, but the bigger lockers, like especially if you bring like a backpack or something, they do cost money. I think they're two, two to five dollars, somewhere around there. So yeah, if you're going to be using lockers for every single ride, it does add up. Uh, the lockers next to the Hulk ride were uh, like we asked the guy and he was like, oh, these lockers, like as long as you need them, you can have them. So I was like, okay, because I thought, you know, as soon as you finish the ride, do you have to go and get your stuff? I, I thought there was a time limit, but um, he said there wasn't. We like went through as many rides as we could, got our stuff. And then we went to um, Saved Hogwarts for last and we had to get lockers there as well and pay, of course. But um, like when we came back to get our locker stuff, the price had gone up to like six or eight dollars or something like that. And we we're like, what? and like I said, that ride, that one ride took three hours. So anyways, um, the guy that was working there, we were like, uh, you know, what's up with this? It's saying that we owe more money. And he was like, where did you go? Where did you go after your ride? And I was like, the, the wait was three hours long. And he was just like, okay. Like, he did, what? I mean, you can check like if you don't believe me. But oh my gosh, that was like, that was kind of annoying. Didn't really like that. But I mean, what can you do? Like, it was $3. So he, I don't know, he 
bypassed the system or whatever and so we got our, our stuff finally <laughs> i don't know if they're actually going to hold the stuff hostage until we paid up i don't know but anyways thankfully like we got that figured out so anyways just a heads up because i had never been i didn't know we had to get lockers and all that and especially if you're like on a tight budget just keep that in mind <sighs> okay so with all of that being said let's move on to the goodies that i got uh for traveling purposes i needed a mirror okay not just any mirror okay if you stayed in a hotel then you know that the lighting usually sucks so bad it's just it's horrible um the bathroom mirror was amazing so cool this is the coolest bathroom mirror by the way i forgot which hotel we stayed in if i remember i will let you guys know in case you're planning a trip to disney world um but there was an actual mirror tv there was a tv inside the mirror and when you turned off the tv it just looked like a regular mirror but there was like a remote and we were just like what is that for like it looks like a tv remote and then i was curious so i clicked it and the tv popped up and i was like it just appeared on the mirror i was just i was amazed like i i liked the hotel purely because of the mirror tv anyways i thought that was really really cool and i've heard of mirror tvs and um that was the first time i actually got to see one firsthand really really cool okay <sighs> anyways um even though it was a really beautiful hotel there uh still isn't much lighting and uh i don't like to do my makeup or anything in the bathroom um i don't know it just kind of grosses me out in case like i drop any of my makeup or something on the bathroom floor i don't know a, a little bit germaphobic for that to happen all that to say i got a travel mirror this is the brand wheelie i think of course i got it in pink and it looks kind of like a tablet you actually charge it right here and there's um an on and off button this is the mirror you can actually bend this all the way back and have it sit up like this so um i had it like sitting on the bed like this and it i mean it was amazing and you can actually adjust oh it works you can adjust the lighting there's different colors there's um white yellow blue and you can turn it on off um really really cool and i mean this helped so much. I was able to actually see what I was doing. Especially if you're trying to do your eyeliner, you know the struggle. So, uh, yes. Highly recommend. I got it off of Amazon. It was a really good price too. So, um, if I remember, I will try to link all of the products that I possibly can in the description box below. Again, if I forget, just please let me know in the comment section and I will help you guys find it. So, yes. This is the first item. Going along with mirrors. Okay. This is not something that I brought along with me, but I got this mirror and i have been wanting a mirror for like i have a big vanity mirror but i wanted a like smaller mirror to do like my makeup and even when i'm like tweezing my eyebrows and stuff i wanted to see what i was doing it's so hard to see especially like the lighting uh, other than my ring lights like i just have like one little ceiling light which is so dim i can't see anything and so i decided to finally get a mirror like a foldable mirror really really handy i love this this was also from amazon i got the white one and i got the chargeable one there's one that um uses batteries and then there's one that you can charge so the charging is kind of weird it comes with the um, charging wire some of them online actually don't come with a charging wire so i made sure that this one did and it's kind of awkward to kind of plug it in here it's kind of inconvenient i don't know why they put it over there versus like just straight on the back but anyways um you can also turn the mirror and tilt the mirror very very nice and they have a little divot here so you can actually place things here if you need to and then when you open it up um it has the 3x magnification 2x magnification and it also came with this little um tiny mirror i think it's oh 10x magnification and you can actually like suction cup it like onto the mirror if you need to so um okay, that's just staying on there okay so uh, we have that and this also you can adjust the light like the blue the yellow and the neutral light the only thing is you have to let it charge for quite a bit i feel um i don't know if it just dies really quickly or it just didn't charge it long enough i mean i barely started to use it so if anything does change if my opinion does change um i will let you guys know but uh so far so good and i love this thing so yeah i got a bunch of mirrors for my birthday let's just go straight into the disney merch every time i go to disney 
I have to get some ears, of course. Um, although I'm starting to think that I should get some like really pretty ears from like Etsy or something because um, I saw this girl who was waiting in line. I asked her where she got her ears, earring, or ears from and they were gorgeous. It was like her whole outfit was Cinderella themed. It was just perfection. I loved it. So, but anyways, I still have to always get like ears from Disney. Of course, the Disney 50th anniversary. I had to get the 50th anniversary ears, which were these beauties right here. I might as well wear, you know what? Let me, let me wear my Mickey ears. This part, this yellow part, kind of feels like a styrofoam cutout, but they like put glue around it to make it like harder. I don't know. These were all like 30 to $35, which are pretty pricey, but Mickey ears. I mean, I wore Mickey ears like every day on my trip because I, I'm just obsessed with Mickey ears. They just make you feel a little special and I just love it. So these were the first pair. Um, of course I had to, like I said, get the 50th anniversary ones. The second pair is this beautiful pink princess tiara Mickey ear. Um, very, very gorgeous. I love the pink and of course I went for my birthday so I thought this was perfect. You know, like a birthday tiara. They're so like girly and glitzy and oh, I love it. <sighs> okay. All right, all right. And then I got one more ears, ear, pair of ears. And I don't even know, I, I just love these. They look so mermaidy. These kind of um, look almost like mermaid scales up close. I don't even know how to show you guys, but they are so pretty, you guys, especially when the light hits them. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to wear these if I Disney bound as Ariel or something. I don't know, I just, <sighs> so pretty okay so those were all the ears that i got um i also got a spirit jersey which is my first ever disney spirit jersey oh my gosh and um if this looks like the kids version of the spirit jersey it is uh oh look at that oh my gosh i love the writing on this just everything about it i love this jersey so gorgeous um i did uh look at the adult spirit jersey but the color of it, I don't know, it just looks so faded. Um, and even my husband was like, what? why does it look like that? And I loved like the darker like indigo color. I just thought this was so pretty and like the wording um, like standed out more on this color. So thankfully I was able to fit into a children's uh, spirit jersey, but you know, no one has to know. It looks perfectly normal when I like put it on. So um, this was actually my outfit for the plane ride home. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, I actually wore the ears and the spirit jersey with some tights as my outfit. And I never felt more amazing. And I do have a couple more things, which I actually got from the Walmart um, there in, in Orlando. And I saw this pair of, I guess they're pajamas. Um, these are like little booty shorts. <laughs> But it has Mickey Mouse on there, and I love these kind of shorts. These um, shorts that kind of scoop up on the side here. So, like, flattering for some reason. I don't know. I think they're called varsity shorts. Really, really cute. And on the butt, <laughs> it has, like, Mickey's little buttons. So cute. But, yeah, he's here just peering out of the side right here. And the shirt to go with it. Um, these were separate, by the way. But this is the shirt that goes with it. It's a little... Um, what is it? Like a raglan style t-shirt with Mickey peering out of the top, out of the pocket. Super, super cute. This is very, very soft and lightweight. Loved it. I actually wore this to um, the Disney Springs, like when we went the second time. Yes, I went a second. I, I, we actually went three times to Disney Springs in like the five days that we were there. Crazy. I was obsessed, but Yes, so those were actually from Walmart. I'm sure you can still find it. When we were in Disney Springs, I also wanted uh, this mascara that I have been obsessed with lately. And I thought I would also just pick up my Sephora, what's it called, birthday gift, you know? This is my little smushed bag from Sephora. So I actually went in for this mascara right here. Uh, this is by Blink and it is the Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara, and I actually got this in my BoxyCharm um, several months ago. Uh, I don't have BoxyCharm anymore, but I was kind of 
obsessed with this mascara. Every time I wore this mascara, I always got compliments. And so um, this is actually a tubing mascara. If you've never tried a tubing mascara, it's kind of interesting. Um, it actually comes off in like little tubes, um, which may or may not kind of wreck your shower curtain, just fair warning. But the amount of volume that this gave, like, it was really, really nice. But this is amazing. If you are looking into trying out a tubing mascara, try this one. I got so many compliments. So yes, I specifically went in for that mascara. I've never bought a backup of any makeup item. I don't think ever. So this is my first time buying a backup. That's how good it is. So yes. Um, and then the birthday gift that I chose was the Tatcha um skincare duo this has the rice wash and the dewy skin cream um as you get older i find that it is like crucial that you take care of your skin so um every time now like when i have a choice i try to just go for the skincare item so and besides i have like i still have so much makeup so I went for this little duo and I've heard nothing but good things uh, from Tatcha. I did actually get a few other things from Disney Springs, from the Disney Springs shops. Um, but all of those will have to be separate videos because already it's been almost an hour since filming this. But I have to speak about the main reason why I went to Disney Springs. And that is... Gideon's Bakehouse. Yes. This uh, uh, bakehouse, if you haven't heard of it, sells these massive, super chunky cookies. <laughs> and um, I mean, they have cookies. They also have cakes, I think. I didn't try any of the cakes, but I did try the cookies. Um, I got their chocolate chip, the double chocolate chip, uh, the coffee toffee cookie. And oh, I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, but I got like, six of them the first go around that's right the first go around uh we went twice the first time we went there was a three-hour wait there's something about Ta uh, orlando and three-hour waits but uh, yes there was a three-hour wait to get into this bakehouse that's how popular they are so fair warning um when it gets that long though um they do have like a I don't know virtual check-in or something so yeah but anyways the first time i went i got like like i said six cookies and they put them in this little box which i don't know i'm definitely going to be using this as like a halloween decor or something because i just love the box i couldn't throw it away it was just so pretty the gold and the black and then when you go there they actually give you um like a little card and it has the specials for that month and and i think they change f like flavors of the cookies every week or every month i don't i don't know but yes it has the little menu on there and it has like a little character they're known for their little characters and both times that i went i got the same guy <laughs> but so cute it's like a creepy cute which i absolutely adore um so so adorable there are also some other um, characters like all on the wall again I'll try to insert some videos and pictures and stuff and um, yeah I just I love the aesthetic of it like the creepy cute spooky aesthetic I loved it and this in case you're wondering says poor morning Joe had no place left to go so um, yeah they have like little characters like I said and I mean I'm, I'm thinking of framing this as well and kind of keeping it by the coffee area for um, Halloween time, kind of like a spooky little Gideon's Bakery themed coffee station, you know? So yeah, I think that is what the coffee station slash kitchen theme is going to be this year for Halloween. So yeah, um, but these are just perfect little works of art to uh, frame. Very, very cute. The second time I went, I also got more cookies. <laughs> And I got another bag. I think I'm going to like frame this and make this into like artwork for Halloween because like how perfect would that be? It's kind of like uh, I'm not a big fan of gargoyles, but this is kind of like a cutesy looking gargoyle. So um, yeah, I don't I haven't decided yet. But the reason why I went back was not because of the cookies, but because of this magical drink that they have, which is the peanut butter nitro cold brew. Oh, just, oh my gosh. 
I will literally fly back to Disney Springs t just to get that drink. I love that drink. That is my drink. That is my absolute all-time favorite drink, hands down. If there is a drink to describe me, that is that is the drink. That drink is me. I just, oh, if you have not tried it. Like, at first it kind of sounded weird, but I had heard, um, like, people obsessing over it, and I was like, peanut butter, cold brew? Like, that's kind of, what? And, but ugh, you just have to try it. You just have to try it. And I asked the lady um, when we were checking out, I was like, which is your most famous drink? And she was like, the peanut butter. Go for the peanut butter for sure. So I was like, all right, we'll try it. And... Ugh, you guys, this is the most smoothest, creamiest drink ever, and it is 100% vegan. How? 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 And like, I'm lactose intolerant, okay? Like, everyone, I feel like almost everyone is lactose intolerant, but I had no guilt drinking this because it was so good, and I knew I wouldn't like suffer for it later. It was so good, you guys. And so, yeah, literally, we went back like a day or two later just for that drink. Uh, it, just trust me on this. Just go get it. So yeah, I think the first time I got six cookies, the second time I got two cookies, and then I also got these little uh, Gideon's Bakehouse Bites. The bites actually have like a, a variety of like their most popular flavors of cookies or something like that. And the cookies, like I was kind of uh, worried about buying so many cookies because I, like we don't really eat that much dessert. Um, but I did read that you can freeze their cookies and then thaw them out and eat them like over time. So I was like, okay, that's that's perfect. So I'll just get a bunch and we can freeze them. So I did freeze them, they do freeze well, and um, I was actually impatient and didn't wait for them to thaw out. I was like, okay, let me just get a quick little bite. I was just like really craving their cookie. And uh, I just took a bite and it tastes so good frozen. There's like a fudgy, chewy texture to them when they're frozen. I like them better frozen. Like I prefer them frozen. So just just try it. Maybe you'll like it, maybe not, but I love freezing the cookies. Just 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 trust me on this. Just try it. Just try it with at least one cookie. So good. Oh, and by the way, their like best cookie in my opinion is the coffee toffee cookie. Hands down. Even my husband like that that was his favorite as well. So so good. Alrighty you guys, so I think I covered everything as far as like Disney for my birthday celebration. Um, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Again, this is a birthday series, so I do have a lot more coming up, including some luxury purchases, which I still cannot believe that I got. <sighs> but all those videos are coming up. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!